He was definitely frustrated. And I, I can recall times when I've been on my knees like, God, come on now. You said that you were going to do something and you haven't done it yet. And I'm going to get emotional, but I'm going to go there. And I will not be one of them. And I was talking to a man at my job today. He's a student that was going to the high school. And he was telling us um, how there's another student who's pregnant. And I'm like, God, this 15-year-old child is pregnant. This 16-year-old child is pregnant. You know, they don't have any place to live. They can take care of this child, and we want a child. So what are you going to do? And God, he just brought me back to this. And he said, remember what Habakkuk said, how long, Lord, must I call for help if you do not listen? And then he took me to Habakkuk um, 2. And he said, put yourself in the position of Habakkuk. And Habakkuk, and he told, and Habakkuk told God, he said, I will stand at my watch and station myself on the rampart. I will look to see what he will say to me and what answer I am to give to this complaint. And basically, he is saying, I know God is going to answer it. I know he has a word for me, and I'm going to wait for it. And in waiting for it now, that's having faith. If you know that he's going to come, he may not give you the answer that he wants, but if you know that he's going to come, then that's practicing faith. And so then, in um, Habakkuk 2, Verse 2, it says, Then the Lord replied, replied, Write down the revelation and make it plain on tablets so that a herald may run with it. For the revelation awaits an appointed time. It speaks of the end and will not prove false. Though it may your wait for it, and it will certainly come and not delay. So he said that when I give you your answer, it's not for you. When he says write it down, I take that as write it down so that whoever reads it will see when this comes to pass, that I said it was going to happen. That I said it was going to happen. And then so, you know, it's only three chapters in this book, but um, Habakkuk and God, they're, they, they're like going back and forth. And then at the end, in chapter three, you have where Habakkuk is at peace because he's now standing on faith, okay? And I, I was reading, Habakkuk, he never lived to see the prophecy fulfilled. But he was at peace during this whole He was at peace during this whole process, not the whole process, but after the process, he was at peace. And at the end, the very last verse says, The sovereign Lord is my strength. He makes my feet like the deer, like the feet of a deer. He enables me to trade on the height. And when I when I saw the angel me to tread on the height, it just made me think that. Whatever I come across, he's going to make a way for me to get around it. Okay? So I just think that when you have time, and if you don't have time, make time to read this book because it is awesome. It spoke to me, and I believe it will speak to you because it's God's word.